My moody ex. You do know that Pikmin 4 is right around the corner, right? Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you all for stopping by. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we will be playing as much Pikmin 3 as we can. Before, um... Uh, before I get tired, basically. But yeah, um, howdy Brace, howdy Spurvis, thank you both for stopping by, hope you're doing well. Uh, we're playing Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I don't have a Wii U, so... I already beat the game as well. Should be fun. Um... Let me get rid of this one. Maybe this one? This one's 2020. Wait, why is it 2020? Okay, yeah. Sure, let me just erase this. Uh, let's go ultra spicy. Um, there's like three difficulties, right? Um, this is just like giga easy, right? This is just normal. And this is um, advanced mode. You can only have like 60 Pikmin, basically. And, um, yeah. It's it's kind of funny. You can only have, like, 12 Pikmin each for each type if you want to get, like, a full party. But, yeah. Thank you all, uh, for stopping by. 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetite, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope... Whoa, is this a Marvel reference? I love the MCU. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called Sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Fruitless. Just as Mood they're I about to give up, the man. The final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. Miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF 404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Is it really the same person? At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. It's been ages since I watched the Pokemon episode, so I wouldn't know. Something goes horribly wrong. And the, the duck hunt laugh. It's pretty funny. IDK could be they changed out the guy, I see. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Exploration Day 1 0844 AM. Charlie's Crash Site. Uh. What happened? Whoa. Where am I? Last thing I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Sorry. Char leadership. Char leadership. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Hmm. Oh, look at him. The absolute unit. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? Could they be- they could be anywhere on PNF-404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I hope they survive. Move with L, yeah. Uh, I don't need this. I'm a Pikmin expert. 
Whoa, what are those? There are more of them. So strange. Why did everyone hate Brittany? I'm not sure. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Like, P Pikmin fans are all like Zoomers, basically. Uh, nobody played them when they first, um... Well, when the game first came out, so... It's probably just Zoomer humor. I can sound it with B. I'm surrounded! Maybe I should throw them. I can't aim without um, <laughs> without the lock on. They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, then throw them with A. Take aim with L and press A to throw. Okay. All right, we can uh, pull these ones as well. There's no point to doing this, but it's it's just nice. Where are they? There's no more. I see. Well, I like her and the cast. I hope to see my favorite rubber ducky soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, there's even more of them! What enormous mushrooms! Yeah, the, the Pikmin cast is pretty good. Or a Pikmin 3 cast. There's like nothing... Nothing I can complain about. Okay, he, he doesn't have any lines for that. These guys sure are dedicated. What are these? Wow, that's bright. Why just crash uh cat chasing away those creatures? Uh oh. Nani is this? Whoa. Crash site. Uh, uh. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow un un unharmed. Why can't I say that? Elf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my two other team members, as well as the ship itself. As a ship's engineer, it is up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. How vulnerable. How submissive and vulnerable. Oh, it's him. It's that guy. What was that? Steven Pickman. I didn't say that, little nudie. It appears that the specimen I, I just spotted has company. I really like the Pikmin design in um in Pikmin 3. It's very cybernetic. And what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? Just need to throw one more. Nice! Yeah, it's, it's really cool on Cybernetic, and I really like the marbling design when, um, more onions show up. 
And the, the legs are really, really nice too. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the the reds, the red follows see the red fellows seem to be quite pleased now that it's free. Uh, oh wait a minute, uh, I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Looking around. Um, there he is. You can, like, push him along and speed things up. Oh, wait, what did you... Yeah, yeah. The bridge is almost built. Well, he didn't like you pushing them. Yeah. Scene. My copad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the uh, the SS tree. No, no, no. Wonderful. The bridge is complete. Were you gamepad spotted? No. Great, it still works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. I, I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Yeah. Where is the Drake? Aha, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the Copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. I never really use the camera. How do you use it? Oh, that's cute. I, uh, I've never done this before. Da, da, da. Howdy, Andy. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. I'll take the gamepad with me to my room and play Pikmin and Wind Waker. That way, uh, with a William Rope would bring me. That's that's pretty nice. That sounds really comfy. Good thing you can do that with the Switch as well. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Speedrun strats. Red Pikmin. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Yeah, but with the gamepad, it had a limit to how far you could take it away from the console. Uh, you couldn't take it too far, or else you'd lose the signal. That's really funny. I wouldn't know. I never had a Wii. I don't think anyone had. I did. Except, I guess, you. You are literally the only person who has a Wii. <laughs> 
makes sense for a virtual boy. Gotta support the other dead consoles. Am I right? Advertising said you could take it outside with you. <laughs> yeah. Mewdy heart. What's that? Looks like someone left uh someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. Pikminology number one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It gives uh it both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent, the copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? The information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the uh, the code pads exploration notes. But who made the onions? What came first, the onions or the Pikmin? I don't think the captain. Sh uh, I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? I think these are called fig warts. Not sure. Glow caps. Whoa, those are massive, but they don't look edible. I mean, if you're Louie, they can be edible. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Now it would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. Ooh, ooh. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Man makes everything edible to his own tastes, yeah. There it is, the SS Drake. The copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? The incoming transmission, who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starving. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting. Uh, I wish there could, uh, wish could mean there are natural... Oh, I have to re read that. The sun is setting, which could mean that na uh, nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. She was too far away from the console, you know. Kaboom! Kaboom! Most of the supplies we brought along with, uh, with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Review the replay with to fine tune your strategy. That's cool. 
This is also going to be a zero death run, by the way. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I look off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. It stopped turning on, that's unfortunate. Uh, my Wii's still working. Um, my, my Game Boy as well is still working. The only thing that stopped working are my uh, 3DS's and my DS's too, I guess. Garden of Hope. I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. We can also go assignment, which is, um, assignment Olimar. Um, we can do that. We'll do that, like, um, eventually, eventually. Maybe after we unlock all the Pikmin. Where's Brittany? I'll get a new one one day, my 3DS, after I experienced it. This game's so pretty. Uh, after I extre experienced Extreme Drift, yeah. Uh, mine did too, I played Smash on that too much. Brittany should be around, he uh, around here, something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I hope I'm uh, I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope uh, I find her before it's too late. It looks like the onion has fo followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? But yeah, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, my 3DS, the R button broke, and the circle pad, uh, it has drift. Uh, and I also accidentally ripped off the the little the the rubber on the circle pad. They're so fast. Oh, that's right. The data file I, I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. To take out Pikmin, I'm going to install an application on the copad. It lets me uh, check the Pikmin status remotely. Whoa, what is that in the middle? I've never seen those before. You guys are fine there. Yeah, the, um, the triggers can carry a lot of dust. I opened it to clean it, but after that, after I did that, the drift was unbearable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this guy. He's really funny. He's like, really weak in this game. 
because of that. I really have to stop saying things. Uh, let me retry. I have to stop doing that. Hubris. <laughs> Okay. You were truly going hard at it. I sure was. Wait, wait, what? Get over here. Oh. So a few more. Did I attack the butterfly yet? Oh my god. Oh shoot, come on. Anything I miss? Nope. All good shoot. Da 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 Oh no, Brittany is just laying there. I hope I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany! Pick up! Please still be alive. Alf, sorry about that, I was just taking a nap. Uh, so, you were close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Hee <laughs> hee, well, you know me. I'm s I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all the creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Do it yourself. Oh, even I can't carry that. What do I do? Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I'd like to analyze it of the Drake, but how do I get there? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I hope I don't regret that. I threw an extra Pikmin in there. Yeah, this was what I was um, describing last stream. This dude. Oh, what is that thing? It's called the Medusal Slurker. To defeat flying creatures, use Aeth to throw Pikmin. So it doesn't create rock Pikmin for some reason. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. Do they want to break it? Okay. While we're doing this, give me one moment. Uno momentum. Maybe I can gather them by blowing the whistle with B. Alright, I have returned with some green tea. Howdy, uh, Rez. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Wow, they sure pack a punch. They pack way too much of a punch, if you ask me. <laughs> that sure did the trick. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. 
Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. Select the, pic uh, the Pikmin or person you want to throw using L or R. And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss this blob. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. The Pikmin inside the onion still see seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the number of Pikmin in the field reaches 60, any new Pikmin will stay inside the onion. Yeah, so that's um, that's ultra spicy mode. You can only um, use 60. Doing all right. How's it going, Moodler? Moodler. Um, things are going well. I'm just enjoying some Pikmin. This means that a maximum of 60 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at any one time. Analyzing. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Analyzing recovery. Sunseed berry. Large quantities of Pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making it cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll add a fruit, uh, fruit file to the copad, where we can store uh, the results of our analysis. <laughs> Since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is a botanist after all. These sprouts will be the same as the color as the pigment that retrieved the pellet or creature. Howdy, uh, Kaiser. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Howdy, Helm. Squats, I'll do them too, sure. I switched my shoes uh, earlier this morning, so now my feet are pretty good now. They're 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 uh, stepable, step onable. Phew! I can't tell what uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? That's uh, what's that you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But we don't uh, have the time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. Alfie. Uh, let's we'll work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Okay. Uh, I can't pause. Well, time's probably paused as well. Moody. Okay. Let's do 10. You and Rez have the same color, uh, same color name, so I thought you were Rez for a second there. I'll take it from here, press Y and select me, if you'd be so kind. 
On the copad's radar, align with your destination and uh, select go here with A and start moving. How strange to find such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar didn't have a did have a go here feature. We should try it out soon. It seems like it would be helpful if we decide to split it into multiple squads. I take no responsibility. Howdy, Ringo. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Plus in Pikmin 4. Like, did I miss someone? Keep pressing the wrong button. Doing well, how are you? I'm doing well as well. I'm just enjoying some Pikmin. I probably shouldn't have uh, left so many rocks. Oh, there we go. Now, what could this be? The radar is picking something up. Uh, are you a fan of Pikmin as well, uh, Ringo? Now, uh, the radar is detecting a new uh, type of a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. Oh, we don't really need to go there. You're gonna get burned. On the opposite shore, there are materials for building a bridge. I bet if Alf and I could work together, we can get it done in no time. I'll ask Alf to join the squad, move the cursor over to him, and call him by pressing B.
All right, let's see if I can beat the boss today. We won't really need to return afterwards. Go back here. The signal from, uh, seems like it's coming from over there. Do I have enough time? I've arrived, so what now? Um... I don't think I can go over there. Uh, what? Uh, what's the state of file doing all the way out here? Uh, my search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home to Hokotate without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm sending. Uh, I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. Uh, so if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Oh boy. Captain Olimar? Uh, there's another captain who's around through- who's- who's been through here, and he's from Hokotate. People from their plant go to such extremes to scavenge treasure. Uh, maybe it's all the vegetables, uh, they eat that makes them so treasure crazed. Well, sad to say that it looks like this Olimar met his end up ahead. We'd better be careful. Looks like some kind of nest. Little species. Something doesn't feel right up ahead. Uh oh. Da -da -da -da. Armored Modern. Its exoskeleton is made of crystal. Use rock to smash it. Okay, where is he? There he is. Come on. Slow down. Oh, it will be sundown before too long. Alf, don't, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray pigment? No, oh, yeah, I definitely do not have time. Looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest uh, we call an onion can get back on their own though. Make sure the Pikmin are in your in your squad uh, or close to the onion when the sun sets. All others will perish. I'd better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you uh, press A near the SS Drake, a whistle would be sound uh, that will call back all Pikmin to the onion. Where is he? Where is he?
Oh, uh, whatever, yeah. There's no shot. Let's go back. How anti-climactic. And now. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. So close though. Yeah, I guess. Wah, wah, wah. I really like their uh, new jumping design, where they uh, blow up their uh, bodies. Alright, that should be fine. Took you guys a while. Let us go back. And uh... da 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 da. I know some people can uh, do that. They can um beat the dude in like one one um what's it called one cycle. They don't need him to uh, go back up. Very interested. Uh, very interesting. The two of them combined together. I'll make a note of this fascinating behavior. Let's analyze the other fruit too. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anyone. This looks visually more impressive than the first two games. It's it's because it's two console generations ahead, but it is very lovely. Howdy, Tower Shield. Thanks for stopping. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I can't believe I, uh, said all that, like, really quickly, in one breath. Uh, from now on, I'll have to make sure that Alfie gets how crucial our search for the fruit is. After all, uh, that's the reason why, why we're here. But yeah, um, uh, this is two console generations ahead, and, um, they definitely stepped up their game. It was already really pretty on the GameCube, but... They, they definitely, uh... They definitely tried their hardest here. We encountered some sort of gigantic creature in a dark, dank cave. Attacks from the Red Pikmin have no effect on the monster's tough exoskeleton. It seems that the mysterious signal we've been tracking is actually emanating from inside the creature. Gross! We will have to defeat it uh, to get to the bottom of this. I have a sinking feeling uh, that this isn't going to be pretty. Exploration Day 3. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Defeat the armored modder. Like, what is it? ZL. There we go. Perfect.
they bounce too far. So yeah, um, Rock Pikmin, they basically invalidate these guys, even more so than, um, than Purple's invalidated, uh, invalidated them in the previous game. Uh, they are immune to crush attacks, and also stab attacks, which is, a uh, really, really base, really, really good. There's no nectar here anywhere. Which is really sad. Oh, Crayola! Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, let me go ahead and... Uh... Oh, I shout you out. What were you doing? Your uh, stream was fairly short. Art, I see. What were you drawing? Anything lovely? Anything good? Uh, howdy, Bumbino. Howdy, Jimmy. Howdy, Manual of Arms. Howdy, Amo-chan. Howdy, Megamook. Howdy, uh, Athenium. Howdy, Rickubus. Howdy, uh, Skeligion. Uh, howdy, Spurbus. Howdy, Doctagon. Howdy, Von Klebo. Howdy, uh, Sauce Vulture. Uh, it was almost four hours. Please don't call it short. Uh, well, I guess. I guess. That, that makes sense. Short, it was short play. Uh, a bit longer than average, if I may say. No. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I thought, uh, you only started stream, like, recently. So I'm not really used to people ending stream, like, what, what time is it? It's like 10.30. People usually end in like two hours. Zam! Oh, his HP is still down. Where'd it go? I woke up earlier and streamed earlier than ended earlier. It all makes sense. Okay. But yeah, um, uh, howdy, uh, Taurus. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. What is this? Oh, of course you did that. Do you, do you really just want me to replace my body or should I just use the actual PNG, Taurus? And your thumbnail? Uh, what thumbnail? I got a notif midway through my stream on your server. Oh, sorry about that. Feel free to unmute that. Oh, Ira? Okay. Uh, one moment. The thumbnail for your stream. I see. Does Ludi have a working mouth? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll, I'll go, um, with Jimmy's Redeem first. And then I'll, uh, go switch over to, you, um, uh, Taurus, if you don't mind. Your thumbnail had the butt fan art on it. Oh, well, that's, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? But yeah, uh, hello, Raiders, uh. Thank you all for stopping by. I am Moody Presence. I am the Cypher Guild's navigator and map maker. I, uh, I draw and play video games, mostly fighting games. Um, every, every Friday I usually play fighting games, but uh, Pikmin 4 is releasing soon, so I should probably get started on finishing this game specifically. I'm very excited for Pikmin 4. 
But yeah, um, you guys want to hang out like on Friday on a different Friday? Uh, feel free to uh, come in. Um, we're just grinding Street Fighter Six, basically. Diamond is unattainable. Oh yeah, I have to get used to um. I have to get used to uh, throwing in a pattern, because in this game, uh, they made it so that the fastest speed possible uh, for Pikmin throwing is in um, by mashing. You have to uh, throw in a pattern. You have to just throw in a steady pattern uh, that's a little slower than the fastest possible mashing, you know? Whoa. There we go. We did it. Zam. <laughs> so this was, uh, this was emitting that signal. But what does this mean for the captain's whereabouts? I guess for now, uh, we should take this back to the Drake for analysis. It might be of some use to us. Okay, get down from there. Excuse me? There we go. I clutter to the screen. OM Jimmy. OM Jimmy. OMG Jimmy. I will grab this thing. There we go. Let's go back. I guess you go back as well. Alright, while well, we're doing it, let's uh, go figure this out. What is this? Oh, oh yeah, uh, this is really cute, Jimmy. Good post. You're like the only person I have on Twitter uh, that I have notifications for. Because you don't really use Twitter and uh, you don't post very often. Come on, refresh. Look at those really high, really tall shoes. I love this so much. Oh yeah, I have to uh, save the other one. Uh, did I say howdy to you, Von Klebo? Howdy, and thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Alright, um... Where is Taurus's picture? Why is it emotes? It's being, um, redeems. Alright, give me one moment. Okay, and then, uh, image. I need to ask Ira for a high quality version of this. No, actually, probably. It's probably on our, uh, on, uh, on her website. Damn. Damn, he's hot. Let me stop moving as well. Ah. 
Chad, is this what you want? <laughs> oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. I've never heard this before. That sounds so horrible. Sounds like nails on a chalkboard. I need to go for a walk. Sheesh. Um, the washroom's unlocked. Feel free to use it. Go walk that lobster's purpose. Uh, an ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is now emitting a, a signal, even now. A howdy, Death Anchor. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. I'll have Alf take a look at this tonight to see if we have any use for it. He might have a few ideas with his engineer's expertise. Where are the other two? Oh, they're floating. <laughs> Wait, can I pause? <laughs> Hello. What's up? <laughs> Makes you wonder just what happened over uh, that planet, huh? Yeah. The, the lore for Pikmin is really, really cool. Or... The possibilities of lore. But, uh... The actual lore itself is really good. I'm not tall enough for that. Wait, where is Alf? Why are you here, Alf? Should be over here. I think I'll keep my distance. So in this game, electricity isn't lethal. Like they they can't even be killed either. Like, it went from, like, the most dangerous, uh... The most dangerous, uh, element to being not even able to kill. It's a good way to get invested for sure. Mm -hmm. I love Pikmin. Nothing else to grab. I guess we can just boost up our um, rock Pikmin numbers. And there's this dude too. Hey dude. What is that? I'll go take a look. Give me one moment. Um, let's see. Anything I am missing? No Pikmin left behind. Idol, nothing. All good. Okay, let's end the day. Help. Thank you very much, Chris. A lovely picture.
Bang dum dum dum. Hee hee hee. New fruit, yes. Fire breathing feast. Little smoosh for Mewdy. I really love the, uh, like the juice animations. Zest bomb. It has like actual physics to it. I, I, I wonder how they do it. Maybe it's like similar to Splatoon. We've worked hard today and now it's time for our, for our reward. How goes it, Moody? Uh, howdy, Biscuit. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Uh, things are going well. We're just enjoying Pikmin 3. Is it, we're just playing it until uh, we get tired. Which is probably in like five to six hours. <laughs> we recovered the communication device that was inside the armored modad, according to Alf. This device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communications range. I've never seen him so excited. Uh, I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the de device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. Currently have a fever, so just chilling with uh, streams and anime. Uh, that's, um, I hope you get better soon. Uh, that's, that's rough. But yeah, um... Thank you for choosing my stream to chill, chill with for a little bit. So, um, you're, you're not able to, like, uh, play any games. I usually use, like, um, sick time to play games that I, uh, can't play on stream or don't want to play on stream. Distant Tundra. And, uh, and also, um, what anime are you catching up with? Uh, brilliant, Alf. You expanded the Drake's receiver range. Oh, thanks. They don't call me the Keen Engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. <laughs> Poor Alf. The origin of the signal is unclear. Maybe it's the captain. We should investigate this at once. Good idea, Alf. Let's do it. Uh, why don't we go to Olimar's assignment? I'm curious if there's, um... Fire Garden. Oh, well, let's try this. I hope uh, I don't spoil anything here. I just want to, like, uh, slowly go through each of them one by one. Maybe, like, every other day or something. This is Olimar, the captain of the SS Dolphin. I've been to this planet twice before already. I really love his voice. It's so cute. He goes, <laughs> We're here in search of, of treasure to pay off that debt. Stupid Louie. <laughs> we all love Louie here, don't we? But we know from experience that the wild uh, local wildlife... Oh, I didn't get to finish that. <laughs> but yeah, um... The the designs in this game, like uh, the character models, are amazing. Keep an eye out for hidden or buried fruits. Collect them all. No, no, no. We we all love the Louie. He's the best. Oh, oh shoot. Um. Oh. Yes, we have to uh, stay together. Let's reset. I made a mistake.
Louie. I really like that you can switch between um, the captains while they're plucking. Oh, bro. Okay. We're just try harding here. Hydrate, sure. I need to hydrate after gaming so much. Hooray squats, sure. Sure thing. I love the challenge mode in this game. It's so nice and simple, but you can just play it forever. Hmm. Oh, stretch. And squats. Ha <laughs> 
Uh, howdy, Ira. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you for for drawing the picture. S O Ira. Please follow Ira. She's the one who drew uh, the body here. She's quite lovely. Words cannot describe how I'm feeling, your highness. Please accept this platinum medal and a song written by yours truly. OMG, Ira, you're the mastermind behind this? Uh, let me share the full thing. I'm looking at it to accompany my drawing work. Thank you very much. Uh, where is it? And I. Here's the full thing. <laughs> Let me see if I can um, go to the website. Uh, Ira's website. Is it this one? Yep. Uh, Moody Presence. Oh no, she hasn't posted it on her website. That's unfortunate. Would it be possible to ask you to uh, put it there, Ira? Um, can I grab my deep bell? Would it be possible if you could post the high quality version of the picture on your website. The witch has played a trick. It's very funny. Thank you, Ira. Uh, it has been quite a while since my last treasure hunting expedition, but I found quite a few artifacts, uh, quite a few choice artifacts. Good to know I haven't lost my touch. The radar has detected something juicy, so we'll investigate that tomorrow. I hope it's something valuable enough that we can finish the mission early. We can continue this later on. Uh, this should be like um like a prequel uh, to Pikmin 3. Uh, it takes place after Pikmin 2 and before Pikmin 3. So we can probably just do all of these like right away, but it spoils some of the other Pikmin. But you guys already know what Pikmin they are, so it doesn't really matter, but still. We can continue on. Oh shoot, um, I forgot to remove this. Searching for signals. Distant tundra. Muty lore. You got it. Brilliant elf. You d you expanded the Drake's receiver range. Aw, oh, thanks. They don't call me- oh, I already said this. Nobody calls you that, I know. Let's go. 